Hey, it's Brian with Team Aquascape. I am sitting on the deck of our new sandbox studio. When I say deck, I mean it's literally a deck to a house. <laughs> It's pretty crazy that we have this thing built in here. I mean, you can see behind me all the soil, the sand. There's a mixture of peat and topsoil. Obviously a lot of sand from our old pit over there. All this stuff is getting mixed together and we really need to start spreading this stuff out in order for those artists of the year to come in and start creating some of their masterpieces. But before we start spreading it out, you've got Micho, Daniel, and Corey over here building a retaining wall. And the retaining wall is super challenging because this whole floor slopes from there down about four feet to here. So every timber on the bottom has to be shaved to get it nice and level. Once we get that level course across the bottom, then things will start moving a little smoother, but the first course is gonna take a while. So we're building timbers. You can see the dead men that are gonna be coming back. We gotta anchor all those things down into the ground and make this thing extremely strong because we will have not just four feet of soil up against it, but machines running around in this whole space in here. So it's a pretty awesome endeavor. I think Greg's vision and what he wants to accomplish with this whole space will actually be really cool. And past just being cool, a ton of fun. Our guys are gonna learn so much, especially some of our newer guys working with these artists of the year. I love using it because it's gonna give us the opportunity to try things that we've not tried outside before, come up with some creative new things that we've never done or had the courage maybe to do for a paying customer. You have nothing to fear. It'll be fun to do that, collaborate with all of these guys from all over the world, building one-of-a-kind, custom, awesome, awesome creations. <laughs> But this is just the prep work and look, I mean, we have a house inside of a warehouse, which is just super cool. And the only other thing I haven't shown you is what's gonna go right in this area here, which is gonna be even cooler to me than that thing back there. Wait till you see that. Micho, how's it going? It's going good. Super smooth. <laughs> Did you wanna show the rest of the world what you've done to your head? Not yet. Not yet? Yeah, Surprise. we'll wait for the reveal. We we'll wait for the reveal. <laughs> Yeah. Daniel, is easier or exactly what you thought it was going to be? Just kind of a pain in the butt? No, it's just tedious. It's going to tedious. take a little, bit, a little bit of time, but we'll get it. Dan, you want to introduce yourself to everybody? Say something, God damn it! You're on television! I'm DK. DK? Dan Kelly. There you go. <laughs> I'm the new guy on the team, Team Aquascape. The biggest mistake Daniel made was he told us he was good at carpentry type stuff. And so, not a bad project for his first project here at Aquascape, huh? Like they say, throw you in the deep end, sink or swim. Awesome. Hey everybody, I'm back here in the warehouse just checking up on the progress of our sandbox. We tore apart our old sandbox, which was actually kind of a pain in the ass. A little bit of sadness there. But uh, more importantly, super excited about the new one. And I want to take the time to show you where we're at with the whole thing. This is the back side of it, which gives you kind of an idea of how big this stinking thing is. But it needed to look exactly like the back of a house and as realistic as we could possibly make it because we want to build water feature after water feature after water feature in here. And without the realistic looking house, our uh, projects wouldn't look realistic. So I'm super excited. <laughs> We've got a lot of the fill back in here. I know our timber wall, we you know, came in over the weekend and tried to work a little bit on that. I'm gonna come over here to where the electrician just put in some new lights. Check this out. Darkness. One, two, three. Boom, boom. I mean, is this not gonna be the most epic pond building studio ever? I'm so excited to build water feature after water feature after water feature, and then really work with all of the past artists of the year and the collaboration of those minds with our minds and some of the crazy awesome things we're gonna build in here. Which really gets me to the point of this video. <laughs> We are hoping to have this done before January 4th. January 4th marks the day the first artist of the year comes in to work with us. And I would like to build something before they build anything. 
And what I thought would be cool is to build whatever you guys. Who are you? Yes, you guys tell us to build. Do you want to see an epic fountainscape? Do you want to see a pondless waterfall? Do you want to see a pond? Do you want to see a pond go into a pondless system? Do you want to see a fountainscape with a pond? Do you want to see something with stacked slate walls? I mean, there's endless, endless possibilities, but I thought I'd put it back to you guys. And whatever you guys want us to build, whoa, where'd you go? There you are. Whatever you guys want us to build, we will build. Keep in mind, I can't do 20 foot high waterfalls. I can't do recreation, but I could actually try to pull off a small recreation pond. And maybe it'd be cool to see somebody actually recreate yeah, that's a word, recreate, in the warehouse temperatures. But it'd be super cool to, to see all that uh, done. Hey, let me show you kind of the footprint and what we get to work with here. So we've got about 50 some feet from the edge of our deck back out into that area there. And it's about almost 50 feet wide too. I think it's like 45 feet wide. This pole is our biggest obstacle. We actually have a shed going in over there and not just any shed, an unbelievable shed. Call it a man cave, call it a she shed, call it uh, outdoor office space, but it's gonna be done by a fantastic company called Shedsters. And they're gonna start that this week, I believe. Uh, maybe next week they'll start putting that together, but that's gonna sit over in there so I can have a waterfall kind of fall towards them. I could berm up over here. So many, so many possibilities, but all of this gets leveled you can see how we've been mixing some soil with the sand just to make it a little bit easier to dig through but it's gonna be awesome and so what's cool about this deck is it actually overhangs by about three feet so I can bring water up and underneath this deck if I wanted to and we're about four feet deep with soil in this area here and so the challenge is from here we're about four feet deep and then the truck bay just kind of tapers down. So as we get down to that pole where this column is, it's only about two feet of soil. So we're kind of limited on depth, but four, <laughs> four feet's deep enough, I suppose. Hey, you know what would be fun? Let's go upstairs and check out the inside of this house. Now I'm sure it's not quite as nice as the inside of maybe your house, but uh, <laughs> let's, let's see what the inside looked like. The whole idea of the inside was to give us those views from inside. And you guys know, especially if you've watched this channel, that the view from inside the house is always king. So this would represent the space of a kitchen window. So right in this area would be your kitchen table, sliding glass door going out to your deck and the views from inside looking out. If we came down <laughs> into our family room, it's a little bit of room but it's really, again, just the views. This would be the view looking out, maybe a family room window, maybe a bedroom window, looking out towards the backyard. And so again, we'll get some stuff into here. We're gonna have all kinds of backdrop stuff in here, so we're not gonna be paying attention to dumpsters. There's a fence going up along this entire side over here, so it replicates the average backyard. So we're not looking at pallets and boxes and all that kind of stuff. Come up this way. I don't think there's anything over here. Was nothing real. Oh, secret hallway. Oh, another window looking out. Yeah, again, with that fence sitting up over there, that'll be great. That'll block all of that off. And then above that, we can just do like black fabric or something. And then they can Photoshop in clouds and trees and whatever else they want to do. Let's go upstairs. And so this is great because it'll give us a bird's eye view. of what the whole space is gonna look like. Really cool, it's a massive sandbox. I think what's great, so many of us are in this business, in the business of building water features, the business of working outside, because maybe our parents embraced the whole sandbox idea. And for us, this space is really like, we're just big kids working in a big sandbox. And so every day is play, play, play. Excuse me, buddy. It's still a functioning warehouse where every day Semi loads of stuff are going out and new semis are coming in. I'm guessing that semi's going out. But you like I was saying, kids in a big giant sandbox. This is gonna be more fun than you could ever imagine. So let me know what you guys think. I would love to be inspired by one of your ideas and I will build, promise, whatever one of you guys wants me to build. Talk to me, say something. Look forward to your ideas. Like, share, comment. Hey, get your friends input, right? What do they want to see in their backyard? This is an opportunity for you guys to get to see what maybe a project could look like in your space back home. You're the star. Take advantage of this. I'm going to do what you want to do. In case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.